Here is one of these cheap no-name laser devices and this one does come in really nice carrying bag. So today we will find out whenever these are actually worth using or not. It is everything that's inside. And this is only like 75 euros or something. First I will go through the accessories that are included and most of them are really cheap but that's to be expected in this price range. So here is the little remote control which basically just duplicates these buttons over here. So this is the charger that came with it and I honestly this is the cheapest piece of crap I ever had and it's really light too. Next we have this platform over here and unlike the charger this is actually pretty nice. It's made of aluminium but it does show signs of usage like this scratch over here. That's not good when you buy something new and here is the manual that came with the device and this one does look pretty used too. This is what they call a T-bracket. You can use this to attach the device to the wall, which is great for doing lower ceilings like I will. One thing to mention right away, this is an almost entirely made of plastic and it feels like a Fisher Price toy. This angle adjustment is threading straight into the plastic and that's just no bueno, especially since this device is actually pretty heavy. The way this works is you just screw this into the wall and then attach it magnetically and then you just put the device on top of this. And I'm guessing all of this because it's not like it's even mentioned in this manual at all. At last, in the list, I have this tripod clip over here. Here is how I think this works. You attach this to the bottom of the device and then you tighten it using this knife over here, which then pushes against the prism and that's really bad design. Then you have this attachment and you, at least this time we are not threading into the plastic, you attach this to the bracket, attach that to the tripod if you have one. The accessories are not very good, in fact they are actually pretty terrible. But what matters here is, is the device itself any good? So now that it has leveled itself, I'm gonna mark where this line is. To test the device against itself, I'm just gonna rotate it 180 degrees, like that. And now let's check where the green line is now. The line is like 2 millimeters lower. And that's 10 feet away, so yeah, that's pretty within tolerances, yeah, it's okay. So this is the visibility test outside, and this is what many have complained about. So let's just back off and see. Yeah, this is just barely visible, and that's only like 2 meters away. So if you're planning to use this outside, this is not something for you. It is how it does in the cloudy weather. Yeah not really much better still not useful so here it's secured to the wall and it's uh, ready to do its very first project which is this lower ceiling now let's just turn it on and this is the upper horizontal line in action you might notice it's a little bit interrupted but that's because these uh, wires are hanging out of the ceiling not because of the device the device itself is doing very good job everything is leveled i checked these lines and they're good so the device itself is worth it. Yes, the accessories included are cheap, as we'd noticed. For the do-it-yourself use, not the professional use, unlike the manual here claims, it's worth it. So that's about it.